Hi! Welcome to the New Day One Show. I'm so glad you could join me again today. We're going to have a little short inspiration and then a little song, a snippet, as I call it, of a song. Um, we're doing this show um, in an unusual way. I'm doing it actually on Sunday, and I'll be posting it today because of Easter. Um, I don't really make a big deal of birthdays and holidays, but this particular holiday, I feel, especially with what we're going through, uh, gives me an opportunity to talk about one of my best friends. Uh, actually, he's, he's the number one in my life, and that is Jesus. Um, I met him probably 40-some years ago, and um, I, I gotta tell you, all I did is, is do this little prayer that this uh, cerebral palsy gal who, uh, you know, could hardly take care of herself, but she really loved God and she really touched my heart with her love. And I asked her how she had such a close thing with God. And long story short, I go through this little prayer. Within 30 minutes, I mean, Jesus and the Father revealed themselves to me. So it wasn't out of a church, it wasn't out of a preacher, uh, it wasn't even out of the Bible. It was just a uh, a miraculous occurrence that allowed me to get to know him personally and uh, I've walked with him my whole life and I just think it's great that at least on this day most of the people on the planet are open to thinking and possibly even having a conversation about him and I'm not real big for preaching I would rather uh, just have it come up in a conversation naturally and uh, but I, I did want to share with you why he is so important to me um, I, I, I guess I can just say it in one simple sentence. I know God, and He knows me, and we commune. And Jesus has shown up several times. Now, you know, the, the importance of this day isn't just about Jesus. It's about His resurrection. You know, He really did rise from the dead, and I know this firsthand because I've met Him. He has come to me on many occasions. Uh, we've had conversations or just interactions and the other thing is he gives me his spirit now what that means and something you might be open to considering is all that he has all the victory that he, he accomplished all of the love that he has with the father and, and for humanity all of his ability to perform miracles and as well as the fact that he is Lord of the universe okay says God the Father he placed him on the throne so Jesus now is in everything. And he's already actually in every one, but we have to actually uh, make an invitation and an acknowledgement uh, for, for God to show up because he's a gentleman like that. Um, so that to me is the best gift anyone could have given <coughs> anyone on the planet. And that is the gift of salvation, eternal life, and a relationship with God. This, and this has nothing to do with me being good. This has nothing to do with any of us uh, changing our behavior necessarily. It has everything to do with grace. And by His grace, He will reveal Himself to us. So that's it for my inspirational message. Um, we love you, Jesus. Thank you for doing what you did. Um, and I... I, I was taught classical guitar many, many years ago, about the same time I met, uh, met God. Um, and uh, the first teacher that I had was Skip Gordon Rowland. He went by Skip back then. And uh, one of the first things he taught me about classical music and why he loves it so much is he believes it's the highest form of worship. So rather than doing one of my original songs today, I'm going to do a snippet of a classical song by Matteo Carcassi entitled Study in A Minor. Hope you enjoy.
for joining me. I shall see you, not tomorrow, because this is really tomorrow's video, but on Tuesday. All right, thanks. Have a great rest of your weekend.